Hey everybody, what is up? Um, so I kind of want to make this video. I'm doing these for a reason. I've not really had much of a chance to play games. Um, this kind of this time of the year, things get kind of wonky for towards the end of the month of December. Um, I normally don't play games because my hours at work change to a point where. By the time I get home or I have a day off, there's always something going on. So normally I don't touch them. And I kind of wanted to focus a little bit on music. And I'm going to... Because I was going to do a Bob video uh, talking about music. Because I was basically going to go, what is Bob's least favorite band? And I was going to mention Pentonix, who I can't stand. I know they do their own original songs, but I also know they do a lot of cover songs. I know they were in a song um, on the Lindsey Sterling album, and I love Lindsey Sterling. She's great. I think somebody else could have probably made that song better if they were singing instead of them. The problem I have with them is just I think their style and their techniques suck big time. But a lot of the music I listen to, people normally wouldn't agree with. I was like, well, because they do covers, you know, in part, hey, you know, should I be bashing them for them? Like, well, no, because they're cover bands that I listen to. And the kind of one of the funniest things is I hate the Beatles. Unpopular opinion, big time unpopular opinion. I can't stand them. I don't know what it is. They have good songs, um, but I think their songs are better depending on who's covering them. Uh, no doubt, their version of Oh Blah Dee Blah Da. Gwen Stefani and how much energy she puts into it. Just the singing alone, you know, and the band, the rest of it is incredible. It, it, to me, it makes it so, so much better. The horns section, especially, uh, if, you're, if we're talking about, you know, instruments excuse me and i just enjoy that oh, God, i'm trying to think there's a version there's a punk version of of we all live in a sub yellow submarine which I, I i i love i don't remember who sings it it's been a while since i heard it um i got in trouble with somebody i know knew who sorry did not like the fact that I would prefer to listen to the Me First and the Gimme Gimme version of Stairway to Heaven over the Led Zeppelin version. And it's basically, to me, it, the song is a little bit too drawn out. Which is why I like the punk version, you know. It just seems to make it better. Don't ask me why I feel that way. I just do. And... It's kind of like I like the Van Morrison version of Brown Eyed Girl. But I also like the Real Big Fish cover version of it and Jimmy Buffett's version. It just adds to it. So you're always going to have kind of this discrepancy of you know how people like stuff. There, are, I've heard people complain about cover songs and how they can't stand them, how the original is the only better thing. I'm thinking, okay, but let's say, for example, you watched a movie reboot. And you like the reboot of the movie over the original. You know, it's kind of the same thing in a way. Because you're taking original source material or changing it to something new and unique. It's like if you were to, ever to look at the Will Smith version of I Am Legend. I've seen bits and pieces of it. That is a movie that's been done several times before. Um, it also went by The Omega Man. I'm trying to remember. If I remember correctly, it's been like one of the the most redone versions of any movie in Hollywood history. So yeah, there is that. I'm I started reading the book. I need to finish it. But it's the truth. Um, I tried watching, you know, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And I remember watching on PBS the TV series from the 80s, and I, I like that so much more. I don't know why 
Like, I just couldn't get into the movie. I really couldn't. And I love the books, even. That is a rare exception. It's kind of like, if, like Room 1408. I enjoy the movie more than the book, um, the story. Even stuff like The Princess Bride. Oh, my God. I love that movie. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Hate the book. I cannot stand it. You know, people are talking about the reboot of Animaniacs, which I actually enjoyed. I, I watched all 13 episodes, um, not all at once. And I really enjoyed it, especially with the way they're, they changed Pinky and the Brain. Pinky's still the same, but Brain is just so more cynical in that, and I love it. It's almost like all this time, you know, with Pinky and how things go horribly wrong. You know, it's so perfect. But you're going to get the people who are always going to want the original over, you know, like a change, a reboot, or a remake. Yeah, I'm back there. <laughs> Children. Um, but yeah, it's, it's something that I was really thinking about because I remember seeing... People starting to buy the new Pentonix. Maybe it's not new. Maybe it's just a reissue. Uh, Christmas album and how I just much... I can't stand their music. And a friend of mine had shown me like some of their music videos. And the first one I heard was Bohemian Rhapsody. The Muppets do a great... There is a great Muppets version of Bohemian Rhapsody. That's funny. And I can appreciate it. I think it was Pink who did a version of it. I want to say um, for like one, uh, like there was one of her shows this being broadcast on TV, and it, uh, it was good, but it didn't beat the original. And that's kind of one of those songs where I'm like, you know, this kind of better done by Queen, with especially with Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury is just the one that makes it. And if you ever read about the song, you know, one of the things you'll find out is that the reason why it's done the way it is, is they wanted a song that could not be lip synced. It has to be done a certain way. Because at that time, it shows like Top of the Pops and that were all lip sync, and they did not like that. Which is why they got, you know, there was a music video released of it. I know I went off side, sorry, sidetrack for books and movies and that, but whatever. Um, <laughs> just one of those thoughts, you know. But overall, you know, it's... Everyone's not going to like the same thing. And it's... It's one of those things, you know, we'll all have to look at at some point. And yeah, I don't like groups like Pentonix. I don't like the Beatles. Two very highly unpopular opinions. I don't like Led Zeppelin's slow-ass version of a song. Yes, I'd rather listen to a punk version of it. But at the same time, I understand that there are people that like the originals for whatever reason. You know... And it's all just a matter of choice in the end. It really, truly is. I would rather take, you know, real big fish version of Brown Eyed Girl over Van Morrison simply because, in a sense, Ska and that song fits so much better. Um, they have a version of, what was it? I know I'm going to get in trouble for this at some point, probably the song Nothing Like a Dame from South Pacific, musical. This, it fits. In some odd way, it fits, and both songs are good. You know, like, if they did a ver if me first and the Gimme Gimme's did a version of The Hills Are Alive with The Sound of Music, I'd probably listen to that over Julie Andrews. Because the way I am. And especially, I know there are people that don't like ska, and there are people that like it. But it's just like with country, rap, you know, it's all the same. 
but you know, let me know what you think. Um, I will be talking about things that I do like uh, music wise in the next video. Check it. So when it comes out, it'll be ready probably within a couple weeks. Um, I am posting stuff ahead of time because I'm filming when I have the chance. So that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.